Good morning, everyone. We are here at the Seattle Center on the grand opening of the Seattle World's Fair of 1962. And you have seen all of this excitement all around. And here is a very important person that will tell you more about this. This is Steve Sneed, the director of the Seattle Festival. So um, welcome to everyone who's watching. I guess that's appropriate to say welcome. <laughs> Today is the uh, grand opening of the Seattle Center Next 50 celebration here at Seattle Center. We're celebrating 50 years of Seattle Center, our campus, our grounds, our civic center, our place of gathering and um, it's just so important to our community. I'm Francesca Esperanza with the Filipino Cultural Heritage Society of Washington and Pug de Rimong 2012, and I'm here with Debudeta Dash, one of our great supporters and one of the community leaders from the greater Indian community of Western Washington. And Dash, I'd like to um, talk, have you talk about a little bit about your community and what you're doing here today. Well, we are here to celebrate the great diversity of our state, and this is the next 50, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Seattle Center and Seattle's World Fair. I have been from the Indian community, and I'm also the co-chair of the Washington State India Trade Relation Action Committee, WASITRAC. We are having a trade summit in September as part of the next 50 in the Seattle Center. And I would like to send this message to everybody in, the, in my community that congratulations on the next 50. Please come and enjoy and the experience the New Year celebration of the Filipino community on June 9th and June 10th. Let's build bridges this way by celebrating our cultural heritage. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dash. Just come out and celebrate the Pagdariwang celebration, the Philippine independence on June 9th and 10th. We hope to see you there. Thank you so much. See you. Good morning. We just looked on an iPhone to see what the weather was like 50 years ago today. And we saw a lot of clouds behind Seattle Center and above Seattle Center. So thank you to Mother Nature for giving us sunshine and 66 degrees on this special 50th birthday. I say that because I happen to be a weather guy. Uh, my name is Paul Diano. I work right across the street at Como 4. And it is an honor. It is a pleasure. It is a privilege to be part of this celebration today. And you're a part of it, too, because you've made this happen. 50 years, actually, 49.99999 years ago, from right now, this place opened. And it became a landmark for Seattle for the past 50 years. And today we celebrate not only the past 50 years, but the next 50 years. And we hope everybody will be back in the year 2062. Uh, this is officially the next 50 opening day celebration sponsored by Bartell Drugs, celebrating the 1962 World's Fair and its legacy, Seattle Center. The countdown clock, which uh, ironically may be hard to see because of the sun glare, uh, it's counting down to 11 o'clock in the morning, so we're only about uh, 15 or 20 minutes to go. Uh, 50 years ago, at 11 o'clock this morning, the World's Fair opened its gates and changed the city of Seattle, and I would argue Western Washington, forever. Citizens with a bold vision and the courage to execute that vision put Seattle on the map around the world and gave us this beautiful campus to enjoy not only then, but now and hopefully forever. Today is full of events and activities for you to enjoy, and over the next six months, all the way to October 21st, we hope that you will come back again and again to experience the literally hundreds of offerings created by volunteer committees that invite the community to honor our past, celebrate the present, and also envision the future together. I think we did a pretty good job of that over my shoulder. A number of special guests have joined us to help mark this momentous occasion. Uh, we will start with Hollis Wong Ware, Seattle Center Advisory Commission. Albert Fisher, World's Fair Television and Media Liaison. Louis Larson, World's Fair Director of Special Events. Jay Rocky, World's Fair Public Relations and Advertising Director. C. David Hubanks, World's Fair Special Events Assistant. Representative Reuben Carlisle. Virginia Anderson, 18-year director of Seattle Center. 
Tom Skerritt, Emmy Award-winning actor. Robert Nellums, director of the Seattle Center. Congressman Jim McDermott. Seattle Mayor Mike McGinn. Chairman of the Space Needle, Jeff Wright. King County Council Member Larry Phillips. Executive Director of Seattle Center Foundation, Tracy Robinson. We have several Seattle City Council members here, including Gene Godden, <laughs> Sally Bagshaw, Tim Burgess, and Tom Rasmussen. We also have Peter Ali, Native American flute player from the Yaqui tribe. And this is kind of cool. We also have the first babies of the World's Fair with us today. Rosemary Beret Hemingway. And also Jamie Michelle Williams. It is a beautiful event. It is a beautiful day. I hope you didn't forget your sunglasses because you're looking right at the sun. Uh, now I'm pleased to welcome Seattle's own John Keister from Almost Live. He'll take it from here. Thank you very much, honored dignitaries. There was someone I think is left out. The Space Needle Woman, stand up, will you? Hold it. Look, look at that. She came all dressed up. What do you have with you? Dear, dear, is that a Jim Beam bottle you have? Is that right? It's the Jim Beam Space Needle Bottle. Is that full? Have you cracked that? Oh, it's empty. All right, we won't be meeting later then. But anyway, let's see. How many people here by a show of hands? I was six years old. I went to, okay, by a show of hands, how many people here actually attended the, uh, that's great, that's great. And I've been talking with a, a few friends about some of the things that were at the fair. How many people here remember the machine that you could put a quarter in and then the mold went like and it dropped hot wax down and made the replicas of the space needle? You, how many people remember that? Okay, see? I wasn't hallucinating. All right, I, that's an actual memory. And you'd reach in, and the wax would not yet be done, and you'd scald yourself. But that's the way things were back then. That's, that's the way safety regulations were. We had the creepy crawler games at home. that we'd, It's like an open hot plate on the carpet. And we were driving around with no seat belts, remember those days? And we sold a lot of Century 21, in that shape, ashtrays, which people used at work. It was a different time. If you just consult Mad Men if you want, you know, it's it's different. We were promised a lot of things. We were promised a lot of things and there was real rockets and there were people flying around on jetpacks and I think if they were to look forward and see the budget that we put forward today with these little plastic rockets, I think they that's the future. The future was this is what the future held for us. I think they'd be very They'd be very excited. Now I'm going to bring someone on right now and give him a little break because this is 421. It was 420 yesterday. And that's a very important... Yes, there you go. For the... Yes, everybody knows. Anyway. 420, very important in this man's life. And uh, as long... And also 421, the 50th anniversary of this. Please welcome the hardest working man in Seattle. Mayor, Mike McGinn, Mayor. Mayor Mike, come on up. Give him time, steady out, there you go. Here's the mic, it's okay. Oh God. I don't know why they don't let me introduce John. That would just be much easier. Um, he's almost as funny as when he was on TV, really. Um, <laughs> do you remember those shows? Come on, those were great. I want them back, I want them back. I want almost live back. So it's, it's wonderful to be here today. We have an absolutely gorgeous day. And I've been privileged in the last couple of years to get to know all parts of this city and the people of this city. I've been privileged to be parts of all these conversations about what the, what the World's Fair means. 
But one of the best parts about being from Seattle, it's being here, is the best part. Second best part is when you go anywhere else and people talk about Seattle and what they think about it, right? Don't we have, we have just a great reputation across the world. People know that. And you see it, it shows up in magazines, number one this and number one that. And where'd that come from, right? And what's our reputation for? You can see it all right here, right? We have a reputation for innovation in the future. And there's the Space Needle. It says that in the Science Center. And we have reputation for, for art. And we have this mural right behind us. And I, I, we have this reputation for environmentalism as we're surrounded by the mountains in Puget Sound. And everybody around the world looks at Seattle and, and they think we're great. And, and how did we get that? Right? We had smart people, and we had creative people, and we had innovative people. And one of the best parts about being mayor is being able to be with all of the people and, and help work with people who are trying to who, who built that reputation for Seattle around the whole world. And for today, we can argue over what did it. Was it Boeing? Was it Microsoft? Was it Jimi Hendrix? Was it Nirvana? Was it this? Was it that? But for today, Let's give all the credit for Seattle's great reputation in the world to the to this, to the Seattle's World Fair in 1962, because I think it started it all. I, I really do. I think it started it all. Right then, was it, it feels like when you look back at that, that it's a moment in time when Seattle said, we're going to seize the future. And, and we've been doing that for 50 years. So the name of this celebration is the next 50. And I just want to say, again, I, I get to meet and work with so many people in this town. I get to see the diversity, the creativity, the innovation, the passion, the in idealism, how much we care about our environmental future. And I just have a suspicion the next 50 is just going to be as good for Seattle as the last 50 were. So thank you all of you for making that happen. All right, let's hear it for the mayor, ladies and gentlemen. Mayor.